Hey, so if you're watching this, you probably are, you self-identify as a creator, you sell stuff, you sell digital courses or whatever through email. That's what I do. And I wanted to show you something that I've been doing that's been turning a lot of heads and I really haven't seen used before and it's working ridiculously well for me. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes tour of what I've got going on. Um, I do plan on documenting and, and expanding on this a lot more over at createandsell.co. So if you're not on my email list, get on my email list, uh, that's createandsell.co and I'll get more into this over email. But in this video, let me just show you what I've got going on. And again, if you are somebody who is interested in um, incentivizing people to refer others to your email list and you want to stand out, then you might be interested in what I have to share. Okay, so what I've done is recently I joined Sparkloop's partner network. And the partner network is basically a way for me to say, if you send somebody to my email list, I will pay you, in my case, um, $3 per referral. So I did that. And there's a lot of other partners who run great newsletters in that program. And we're all paying like two to three bucks a referral on average. I wanted to stand out. <laughs> I wanted to, to, to really make a splash. So I thought, well, okay, so I can pay out $3 per referral, but I also have an affiliate program for my products and I'm paying out 20% as the baseline per affiliates. And I'm selling like thousand dollar courses which means if somebody buys through an affiliate link, they get $200 back. All right, well, what, what is my average subscriber value? So I calculated that and then I applied 20% to that as the partner cut or the affiliate cut. And I came up with um, the average, uh, I, I could basically offer $33 per referral. So if you send somebody to my list, I'll give you $3 through Spark loop, but I'll also give you $30 eventually for the lifetime of that subscriber. So while I'm not paying out $33 of referral immediately or upfront, um, they are getting $3 upfront immediately, but over the lifetime of the, of the, uh, subscriber they referred, they're going to get even more. So I wanted to achieve that, but then I needed to think technically, how would I do this? Um, so let me just show you what I've, what I've done. Okay, so what happens when when Sparkloop sends you somebody uh, or when Sparkloop sends a subscriber to your list, what ends up happening is that contact record will have a few custom fields that Sparkloop sets. Um, and it'll also have a RH partner custom field that will be set to the internal Sparkloop ID of the partner who sent them. So what I did is I reached out to all the people who were um, partnering up with me and saying, Hey, you should sign up for my affiliate program. Do that. Tell me what your affiliate ID is, uh, because the tap affiliate program, uh, affiliate program ID is obviously going to be different than the, uh, spark loop one. And then I will go in and I'm going to set up a, uh, a, a very simple automation where it's going to say, Hey, when the partner is set, go and say, is it, you know, ABC, if it is set it to this tap affiliate partner. If it's, you know, X, Y, Z, send it to this tap affiliate, uh, affiliate partner. And that's basically what I've done. I, I've had this effectively, this automation that's looking up the RH partner data and then setting a custom field called original affiliate, which I'll get back to more in a second with, um, the tap affiliate ID. And this has been working really, really well. So now what this means is when you send me a, uh, a referral. You, that referrals contact record in ConvertKit will have the Spark Loop ID um, of the partner of you and uh, your tap affiliate ID. With that said, now we can look into how I'm bridging it all together. So I have a bunch of um, stuff going on in my emails where I have these dynamic call to actions that are promoting different products. It's so looking at what you've bought, what you haven't bought, your segmentation data, like are you using ConvertKit? If so, I'm going to promote Mastering ConvertKit to you. If you don't, I'm not going to promote Mastering ConvertKit to you. And I manage all this through uh, this Plotio interface where I can basically add in all these different offers in a really nice and easy block-based way. Um, so let's say you send somebody to my list. They are getting my emails. They use ConvertKit. They get promoted Mastering ConvertKit. They go to the Mastering Con ConvertKit sales page. They click Enroll Now. They pay me $1,000. You, because you sent them yesterday or a year ago, doesn't matter because that the, you're, you're attributed permanently. Um, 
you're going to get that commission automatically. So how am I doing that? Well, what I'm doing, and this gets kind of geeky, so beware. Um, I'm using a tool that I, I uh, co-created called Write Message, um, which really elegantly is able to pull information about the current subscriber who is looking at your website. And how we do that is there's this little setting in ConvertKit that says add subscriber ID parameter to email links. So what that means is whenever, whenever somebody clicks a link in one of my emails, I go to like a sales page, it's going to have their ID, their ConvertKit ID in this case, uh, in the URL temporarily. Right message picks up on that and then hits up the ConvertKit API and says, what do we know about this person? What custom fields do they have? What tags do they have? And one of the custom fields that's probably going to come back is that original affiliate ID that maps to their tap affiliate ID, right? So what I have is I've written a bit of code that looks for that and says, cool, if they have a tap affiliate ID, I'm going to grab that. So I'm not going to get into the code here. It's messy. I'm going to grab that. And then I'm going to basically use the tap affiliate JavaScript API and set the cookie that tap affiliate needs to say, hey, this is this came from so-and-so. So what's nice about this is usually affiliate programs like Tap Affiliate out of the box, if if I send somebody to your sales page with my referral link, if they buy on like a different computer or they clear their cookies or whatever, all that attribution is gone. But because I'm tying it to the contact record in ConvertKit, it's permanent. If they get a sales email from me and they click over to my sales page and buy, even if they're on a brand new computer, I remember it came from you. So that's really good for, you know, for kind of this lifelong attribution model that I want to set up. So anyway, what I'm doing is I, you know, you come to a sales page through a ConvertKit send email, right message pulls your data, right message then sets the tap affiliate cookie that um, tap affiliate needs to see there. And then should they go to buy? All the usual stuff happens as expected. So it's this really nice system where I have this, um, Ability to map out like all these different products that I have. And then these get added automatically based on, again, what you've bought and haven't bought. And then I just get partners who send me people. I'm paying them upfront for referrals, granted a little bit, you know, $3 per referral. But then statistically speaking, over time, these people are going to turn into customers, hopefully. And when they do, these affiliate uh, commissions will be kicked off automatically. So that's what I've done. Again, I'm going to be doing a lot more in-depth training on this over at Create and Sell. So head over there if you're not on that list yet. But a lot of people have asked about how I'm doing it all. And hopefully this video helps. Thanks.